Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I've been asked by more than a couple of people about this site, and I always like getting comments or questions from subs, especially on sites I haven't talked about. But I'm flying you into a site here called the Stonehenge of the Golan Heights, and it's pretty apparent why. These are concentric stone ruins here. And I just want to back out real quick just to give you some better perspective on where this is located. It is located just to the east of the Sea of Galilee, roughly in between Damascus and Jerusalem. But a lot has been posted about this site in the last week, and I've seen a lot of stories, and I just thought I'd give you my own thoughts. But theories for this site is that it was an astronomical observatory of some site. The middle area here is about 15 feet higher than the outer wall. And if you just look at the landscape around this area, it is totally flat. This would have been an ideal area to do solar observations and to see stars rise over the horizon. So the astronomical observatory, I like that theory. Um, other theories are that it was used as a calendar of some sort to mark days when to plant crops and stuff like that and i have no problem with that it seems there might be some lines built into it that mark the equinox and uh, solstices and stuff like that and that was pretty common with these ancient uh, ringed sites and another theory is that it was used for burial purposes and sometimes those get interlinked with the solar observatories uh, when the ancient people looked to the heavens for their spirituality, especially when, when it came to death and the afterlife. But just wanted to measure this real quick and give you an idea how big this is. It is about 154 meters across, so that is a huge site. These rings are uh, made up of smaller stones, and these walls are about six feet in height, and they've been buried by sedimentation over time, so that tells me this site is very ancient. And does this remind me of anything in my mind's eye? And it does a little bit, and I just want to go over to this website here. This is Graham Hancock's website. And if you look, this is an artist's rendition of the island of Atlantis. And some of you familiar with that story know it has to do with concentric rings, the outer ring being the biggest. And this is just what it looks like. And if we go back to Google Earth here, that is just what it reminds me of. I'm not saying it's connected in any way to Atlantis, but I'm just saying that's what it looks like in my mind's eye. And here you have a picture of it here. The smaller stones making up these walls here, they are partially buried. You have something going on in the middle here. This is raised up a little. And I'm just saying to my mind's eye, it reminds me of Atlantis. But uh, people say this is about 4,500 years old. That is purely speculation. Who built it? We don't know. What it was used for? We don't know. There are some good theories out there. And... Going over to this website, we have uh, some depictions in artwork that they have dated to around eight, 9,000 years ago. And you can see the three rings here. And does that have any connection to what's going on over at the Stonehenge of the Golan Heights? Well, I'm not sure. Does it refer to Atlantis? Well, that is all speculation. And I just think the similarity is too hard to ignore, but I'm not saying it's connected in any ways to Atlantis. Now, let's go over to Popular Archaeology, this website. I will leave these links below. It says, it stands upon a land dotted with ancient dolmens or tombs that recall a distant time before the great urban centers of civilization arose in Mesopotamia and Egypt. According to legend, it was a land of ancient giants. Like Stonehenge, its construction is concentric. At its center, however, is a tumulus of stone 65 feet in diameter and 15 feet tall. Long a mystery, scientists and scholars have puzzled and theorized about the meaning and identity of this site. And it, the names of the site, and I'm terrible at pronunciation, but I believe the site is known as Rumelhire, which uh, 
In more recent times, it has been referred to as Gilgal Rapham, and that is Hebrew for the wheel of giants, and that is referring to the biblical story of the people who inhabited this area. And uh, I think the truth lies somewhere in the hidden past. One thing not mentioned in these articles that I've seen this week is just to the north of here, you can see here we have other smaller circular stone ruins. I have looked at these in South Africa and in the Jordanian desert, but obviously we have some old ancient stone rings up in this area that are probably associated with the builders of this site. That is just what common sense tells me. But this ancient stone ring here is a very fascinating site just because we don't know who built it or why but it appears to me to be very ancient i believe it could have been a solar observatory and it could have had to do with uh, being a calendar and had to do with uh, burials and spiritual meanings of the afterlife and how that connected with the stars but this is a very ancient site and I believe some of the theories having to do with the burial site, I think they're looking at a little too closely at what went on and the people who we think of of inhabit inhabiting the site maybe a couple thousand years ago. And I believe it might not have anything to do with those people. It might have something to do with somebody who existed here a long, long time ago, maybe thousands of years before uh, the dating of this site. But it is all speculation. I find that fascinating. That's the Stonehenge of the Golan Heights. Hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice day.